Hello and welcome to Multiverse, the DC news show on DC Comics Gamer. Today's top story is a mixture of extraordinary and deeply sad. Due to a family tragedy, Zack Snyder will no longer be working on Justice League. Now, we won't go too much into the tragedy itself, it's been very well reported, but we do want to say that whatever you think of Zack Snyder's movies, we hope you will join us at DC Comics Gamer in saying our hearts go out to Zack and his family. This is the type of tragedy which shouldn't happen to any family and we're deeply saddened that it had to happen to theirs. While Justice League is very important to Zack Snyder, his family needs to come first, and we know that he's made the right decision to spend more time with them. To Zack, Deborah and all the Snyder family, our hearts are with you. What we instead want to talk about is his rather extraordinary replacement and what this means for Justice League. Taking over as director is none other than Joss Whedon. Joss is known for creating Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Firefly and is the director of its movie Serenity and on the comic book side he is best known as the director of The Avengers and Age of Ultron for rival studio Marvel. Yes, the director of The Avengers is taking over as director of Justice League. Joss Whedon had been down as the director of Batgirl but presumably he was asked to finish the movie after Zack Snyder's tragedy and agreed. So what does this mean for Justice League? The short answer is not too much, but there will be definitely be scenes that have a more Whedon-like flavour as they will be written and directed by him, presumably with a touch more humour. The Hollywood Reporter notes that Zack Snyder asked Whedon to write some new scenes as part of the reported reshoots. However, Warner Brothers Pictures president Toby Emmerich has quoted that, the directing is minimal and it has to adhere to the style and tone and the template that Zack set. We're not introducing any new characters, it's the same characters in some new scenes. So don't expect Darkseid, Kalabak or anyone else to show up if they weren't in the film already. These new scenes will undoubtedly not be big new action scenes as that would require a lot more time, effort and cost than just bringing back a few actors to do a few scenes, but could be interludes in action scenes. Undoubtedly these scenes will be small, character driven moments that will allow the Justice League to grow as a team, presumably through banter and arguments. That certainly is the Joss Whedon style, but we're all for more team based dialogue between members of the Justice League. We just have to hope that these new scenes will fit naturally into the narrative as following Suicide Squad, that is our only worry. Suicide Squad also received extensive reshoots designed to bump up character moments and the plot ended up very messy, so hopefully that won't happen here. Nevertheless, the movie itself is mostly complete, there won't be massive amounts for Joss Whedon to change. However, it does mostly make us wonder if and when Justice League 2 happens, will Joss Whedon be first in line to direct it? Now that will certainly be interesting, and we wonder how this will affect his Batgirl movie, if at all. But what do you guys think about Joss Whedon taking over Justice League? Leave a comment below with your opinion and we'll be sure to answer. But please, if it's about Zack Snyder's family, please keep it respectful. Thanks for watching guys, please leave a like, they really help us out, and subscribe to DC Comics Gamer for daily DC Comics videos. Multiverse out.